This knife has like Cinnabon all over it. And I'm, I didn't eat it. I got it from my mom, but I'm gonna taste some. <laughs> this is how much of a fatty I am. Mmm, that's really good. That's really good. All right, but that's it. I don't need any more. No, don't need any more. No, no, thank you. No, ma'am. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Anyways, hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to my planet. I see you're making another detour. My name is Maureen and I'm welcoming you with open arms. And we are still in orbit going through this weight loss galaxy. Happy day 15 of Vlogmas. 15 whole days of vlogging. Wow, it's it's been fun. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And I, I know I am. I'm having fun. So I was already thinking about new year's and making like new year's resolutions and why you don't stick to them and i think the reason for that is because like we make these every year don't we regarding weight loss like okay my new year's resolution is i'm gonna and we come up with like this bam this intense thing and the thing is we go into this new year thinking we're gonna be a totally dis different person on january 1st and i'm here to say no we're not I'm sorry, the at 12.01 a.m. on January 1st, 2022, you're not going to be a totally different person than you are now. You're still going to have the same habits you have now. You're still going to have the same urges. The same. You're just going to be the same person. It's just literally going to be a new day. You're not automatically going to start being the fitness freak or tracking amazing or being able to say no thank you I don't want one or I'll just take one you're not going to be that person you have to build up to be that person the only thing January 1st is going to do is give us that little kick in the pants that little motivator that that clean slate we need and so I don't I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. Mine for last year was to not off myself this year. And we're going strong so far. Yay! Good good job me keeping my resolution. So for this year this new year, I was thinking let's not have resolutions. Let's do goals. Like where do you want to be from January 1st of 2022 to December 30th, 31st? How many days are in December? We'll say 31, but until January 1st to December 31st, where do you want to be? Where where do you see yourself? Now, for some of us, it might be like, okay, well, I can lose five pounds a month, so I want to be 60 pounds down. Mm, well, realistically, is that going to happen? There's going to be months. Let's look back at this year or year that it wasn't COVID. Did that, did that really happen? I know for me, absolutely not. It might be there might be months where you where you gain that's just gonna happen it could be during the summer when you're where you're a bit more lax it could be during this holiday season maybe things aren't going as planned and you don't see that changing next year either it could be anytime we're realistically not going to lose 60 some of us will some of us will congratulations to those who do but i don't know you have to look at the trends is that the case for you would it be the case for you maybe cut it in half say 30 pounds 30 pounds how much different would your life be if you were 30 pounds down you know that's still that's huge so maybe cut it in half for me personally i would like to be at my goal weight staying in maintenance and be a size six pounds that's what i'd like i i can fit into a size 10 right now but we have a little i love lucy moment and where i can't sit down so um maybe a size six but if I just get to a size 10, that's fine as well. Or not, not a size 10, a size 8, that's fine as well. well. We'll see what happens. But as long as I'm in the single digits, I'll be good. And you can do the same thing. You can say, well, as long as I'm here, 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 I'll be good. I'll be fine. So, <clears throat> but starting off, we're not going to start off like saying, I'm going to do, don't overextend yourself. Keep it small that you can actually do, that you can actually reach. Why? Because then reaching that will help you reach the next step. So you can always say, so we're just going to start off for this first month. For me, my resolution, my goal is to be at my goal weight 
come Valentine's Day. I would love to be at goal weight on Valentine's days. That's what I need to do. What do I need to do to make sure that happens? I need to not eat this jingle jangle. I don't think they're even selling it anymore. I think they're all out for the year. Thank God. No more jingle jangle because I cannot stay away from that. Maybe it, I still have Halloween candy. I don't know. I just need to be very careful around these treats and not bring more into my house. And I need to keep doing what I'm doing right now and not slack off. For me, the challenge is that January is a really cold time, at least by California standards. It's a really cold time of year. I asked last year on Connect how or like people who live where it's actually freezing, like, what do you do? And I got the consensus was that they eat hot food. And when it's cold, like I just want to eat everything that's there. I can't control myself. But the consensus was when I asked on Connect, which is the Weight Watchers like social media type thing on the app, if you don't know, um, people pr were pretty much saying that they ate hot foods, drink hot drinks, and that's where my problem is because I don't, I don't, dr I don't do that. <laughs> I, I like, I like cold. So this year probably eat more soups drink teas, drink my one point hot chocolate that I had with the gingerbread skinny syrup. It was so good. So that's essentially what needs to happen for me. It can, what's your, let's have a Valentine's Day challenge, shall we? Let's set right now. What is your weight loss goal for Valentine's Day? Where would you like to be from Valentine's Day? It could be that you want to just lose the weight you've gained this month. It could be that you want to lose half the weight you gained this month. Something small and that's truly doable from now until Valentine's Day. I have to lose six pounds to get the goal. I hope that's doable. I really do. But what is yours? What is a small teeny tiny thing that you can, that you just want to be your goal for that day? Let's do this Valentine's Day challenge, shall we? Yes. And we're not, we're not gonna go crazy with it. Let's not hyper extend ourselves when we're making these goals. Do it small, do it doable. Do something that you can actually achieve by then. What is it? Let me know. And, but it can even be smaller than that. Start very, start very easy. The first week of January, that's where you start and that's where you build up. The first week of January, what do you want? What do you need to do to accomplish your goals? First week, it could be something like, I just need to clear out all the treats, get rid of them, throw them away, give them to someone, whatever, take them into the office, whatever it is, get rid of the treats. Or it could be something as simple as going to the grocery store and doing some shopping. Grocery store, grocery store shopping. <laughs> Get get those groceries that I need to set me up for success. It could be not I don't meal prep But I know a lot of people that's their saving grace So it could be I just need to start meal prepping and I'm gonna meal prep this week or this day It could be I need to get into a meeting. I need to get into a weight orders meeting or if you want to start Like an exercise journey or something just say I'm gonna go for a walk I haven't been for a walk in a long time. I know in a lot of places the weather is not walk material so turn on a leslie sansone turn on the walk at home videos i love doing those they're so fun they're easy they're for all fitness levels like you don't need to be super fit in order to do them you take it at your pace and she says so too she says if you can't keep up if you can't do all these things just walk so it might be that whatever your goal is for the first week set it let's set it right now i'm setting mine right now Mine for the first week is no more snacking on these good, and it's not like I eat, I mean, I'm not bad. I'm not eating like a whole bunch. I've said no, oh my gosh. I saw, like, I was going, I was at the pharmacy and I saw um, like the kisses, the little chocolate kisses, and they were gingerbread flavored and candy cane. And I'm like, one is one point, but I was like, no, 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 we don't, we don't, I still have Halloween candy. Why am I going to bring more in? So we're not doing that. So let's set it right now. What is your goal just for the first week of January? First of all, the big goal. Our big goal is the Valentine's Day challenge. What, what do you want to be there? Remember, small and doable. 
what is small and doable for you for Valentine's Day? It could be that I just want to start my weight loss journey again and I just want to start tracking. Where do I start? I'll try to leave a link down below for a month free for Weight Watchers. And you just get a month free and you just try it out. Just try it out for like a week that's it just and if you're like no i hate it for a week just do another week because you're getting used to it for that week so just just try it out there's no harm literally why not what's stopping you from do literally what is stopping you from starting your weight loss journey or just tracking your food like that what is stopping you from clicking that link and just trying it out for a week only a week it's literally not going to kill you it's going to do the opposite in fact, it's gonna do the opposite. So, I mean, if not now, if we don't start these things now, then when are you? Like, I, I want it. No, this is a serious question. When are you? I want a date and a time, because it's not gonna get easier the older you get. The older in five years, three years, five years, it's not gonna get easier to lose weight. It's not. So, if you're not doing it right now, if you're not gonna make an attempt right now, then when are you? Like it's not, it's not gonna get easier at all. So why not just try it? If you need a sign to start your weight loss journey, this is it. Start it right now. Start it, start, not right now. You can do January 1st and you can just sign up, just sign up for it. Go to a meeting and just sit in, they'll let you. They will let you sit in. A Weight Watcher meeting will definitely let you sit in. Just go there and be like, hey, you know, I'm trying I'm trying to check it out. I just want to see how it goes. Can I sit into a meeting? And they'll say, yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Just check it. Just sit down. Take a seat. You can check out this meeting. Go for it. And then if you decide it's not, they're, they're not pushy. They're not like pushy salesmen there. But you can be like, all right, well, you know what? I'll give it a shot and I'll come back later. Or if you really like it, I don't know. But just try it out or if you don't want Weight Watchers, there's a whole bunch of apps on there. There's also, I'm not, it's not I track Bites anymore, it's like Healthy or Plenty or something like that. And you can sign up for that and it's pretty much the same program as Weight Watchers. It's just, I didn't really like their interface or their app, but I, like tons of people use it though. And I think it's changed a lot since I was using it. I think they have virtual meetings as well. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true, but... I think that's that's another thing. And then there's also my fitness pal. There's a whole bunch of apps out there. Just download one. Just download one. That can be you can be say that's my January first goal to download and sign up for this meeting for this app or whatever it is you want to do. And then January second is when I'll actually start doing it and I'll start by tracking one meal. Because really, if we don't start right now, this is your sign. This is everyone's sign to get back into the program, to start, if you've been slacking, to pick it up. This is everyone's sign, okay? So, I don't know. We're going into this. We're going to meet our goals, and we're going to meet them this year by taking it very, 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 very slow and very, very small that we can measure and we can do. First week, no more snacking, no more, I mean, you can if it fits into your points, but just gotta get vacation mode off. That's it, vacation mode off the first week. That's for me. And by February, down to goal. Let me know your goals, your weight loss related goals in the comments below. Who is calling me? Oh, it's a spam call. Oh no, maybe it's not, maybe it's a pharmacy. I'm gonna go see who this is, but no, they would text me the pharmacy. Mm, I don't know what it is, anyways. <laughs> so let me know what your goals are. Let me know what you wanna achieve, the, at least the first week. Let's give it a thought. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like it. Please feel free, uh, feel free to subscribe for more videos. And I will see you all tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It'll be a surprise. You don't know what happens on this planet. There's always some surprises going on. So thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.